Hi everyone, how are you doing? Right, something that we can all, well, pretty much all of us cannot actually live without. I'm making masala tea or masala chai and I even have my masala tea cup set. Um, just like you find in India, the little cups. How cute are these? Okay, so this is how I make my masala chai. Are you ready for this? Right, let's go. Feet on a medium. We need water. So this is Dipna's version of masala tea. And it's simple, quick, and it is one of the best masala chai versions you will try. Okay, so water is in there. I also want to go in with some spices at this stage. So let's go ahead and add, first of all, two star anise, a nice licorice sort of flavor. I'm gonna add half a cinnamon stick, okay? Cassia, cassia bark. So um, still from the cinnamon family, a type of cinnamon. Uh, some cloves for a nice earthy and warm flavor. Cloves, okay, that goes in. I need to add some fennel or soft for a nice sweet flavor. So soft goes in. I'm being quite generous with my soft because it does give an immense flavor to masala chai. And also some green cardamom. So I'm going to go in with, I would say about six, seven green cardamoms and also some black tea bags so it doesn't matter which brand these are just black tea bags will do and i've always added black tea bags to my uh masala tea now you do get um masala chai tea bags so if you want to use them then you can you can also make this with loose tea so if you want to make it with loose tea that's absolutely fine so i've got my spices in i've put in my tea bags and now i'm just bringing this up to a boil so let's wait for that right now my masala chai has started to boil i'm going to lower the heat a little bit and i'm going to keep guarding this now that means I'm just going to keep boiling it. Now some people boil it for like 25, 30 minutes just to get all those flavors in. And if you like really strong masala chai, then that's fine. You can do it that way. 25 minutes, just keep giving it a uh, mix, control the heat, etc. But I'm going to guard this for about eight minutes or so. Because I don't want it like immensely strong, but I still want it to be a nice tasty masala chai. So I'm going to lower the heat a little bit this and just keep guarding it which means just keep boiling it with all those spices in the tea bags so let's give this about eight minutes okay so this is definitely ready it's been boiled or it's been guard enough in the right language guard um now i'm gonna go ahead and add my milk now traditionally masala tea oh, i can really smell that masala it's really uh well it's quite milky masala tea is milky so i'm going to go in with the milk keep on so i love masala chai so long as it's not too strong so it's adding a bit more milk okay look at the color on that masala chai you know what i'm gonna add a little bit yep that is Perfect. I'm also going to go in and add the sugar at this stage. Now, again, traditionally, masala tea does have sugar in it. Like, if you are served a masala chai, it just comes ready. You don't need to add any sugar, no milk, because everything is already in there. So, sugar goes in. Now, again, you can add your sugar to taste. So, I have put enough sugar for about that amount of milk. But it's almost like you're putting uh, one and a half teaspoons of sugar per cup in a normal cup of tea when you have it, if that makes sense. That's how sugary you want it. So not too, not too like sweet, but yes, yeah, sweet enough. And you've got all those um, spices as well, fennel, the green cardamom, the um, star anise, the cassia. So that's going to create a sweetness 
anyway okay now is second stage of guarding so we're going to give this another five minutes or so guarding time okay guys enough guarding my masala chai is ready look at this oh uh, and you know some people put, actually put ginger in their masala my mom does she likes ginger in her tea so if you want to add you know a few bits of ginger you can i'm not i'm not a huge fan of raw ginger like that i just i'm okay with it in like curries and stuff but not like that just don't know why so i just love my massage tea as it is you know what that is perfectly done didn't take long super easy and this is yummy right let's switch that off right let's put that into my little masala chai cups okay now this is the bit i always make a mess on so what i'm going to do is take the tea bags out first i always make a mess when i am pouring tea out it's just i think it's just come standard with dip nut and tea there's that other tea bag okay righty all i can tell you is my masala chai smells so good right now okay i now need a little pony which is my strainer okay then and what i'm gonna do is really carefully just get that on i told you i make a bit of a mess <gasps> my mum comes and sees me making a mess in the kitchen like this again she's gonna get really mad at me but oh, that wasn't too bad oh oh did where did that one fall oh oopsie oh <gasps> don't tell me it's gone back in oh wait wait i can see it <laughs> here it is <laughs> saved right now time to put my masala tea into my special masala chai glasses okay right here we go okay oh my god these are so cute would you call them cups or glasses masala chai oh wow wicked look at this <gasps> this makes me feel like i'm in mumbai or delhi having my favorite masala chai at the store that is wicked look at the, i mean masala chai you would normally have like with pakore and samosa but you know I'm, i like my masala chai with cake just because i think tea and cake is the best thing ever <gasps> look at this masala chai we i'm gonna actually afterwards take this up to my mum on the rack like that <laughs> guys there you are that is my masala chai it's gonna be a bit hot but i just want to taste this <gasps> that is that is wicked no jokes guys look at this please go ahead and try this perfect for all days masala chai any day in fact like i probably have two cups of tea a day i don't know about you guys i hope you've enjoyed my masala tea go ahead and give that a whirl i'll see you soon stay happy and stay safe bye